This episode of SitRep is presented by EA. A lot is going to be changing in the new Battlefield. The way you interact with your team and environment will never be the same. My name is Shadox and this is SitRep. There's honestly too much information to put into a single video. So over the course of this past week, I've been uploading videos covering each topic from the reveal in a lot more depth, talking about what we saw and what we heard. If you would like an overview of everything known about Battlefield 5 in a super short format, click the card in the upper right hand corner of the video. This video is going to be taking a closer look at the fortification system and how Battlefield 5 will be the most immersive title yet. Let's get started. Let's start out with one of the biggest additions to the franchise, fortifications. This system acts as a counter to destruction in a viable, immersive, and productive way. Oftentimes in past battlefields, after a round has progressed for a bit, most bits of cover on or near a point would be demolished to the point of unusability. The new fortification system allows you to place defensive and offensive structures in key areas to fortify a point or a structure. Any class will be able to build the new defensive fortifications. These include sandbags, concertina wire, hedgehogs, and dragon's teeth. These fortifications can be built in key areas around objectives, near stationaries, and most structures. An example of this can actually be seen in the reveal trailer, where multiple players are placing sandbags around a field gun emplacement. In addition to creating new defensive structures, you will be able to reinforce broken structures in the game such as buildings, walls, and more. If a building your squad is hiding in has a few holes in the wall, it may be a good idea to take a bit of time and sandbag up the walls to provide your team with a bit more cover. A perk of the support class now is the ability to not only create defensive structures, but offensive as well, including machine gun nests, fighting holes, and more. Additionally, the support is overall better and faster at building these fortifications, giving the support another way to be a key player on a good team. The addition of the fortification system will take some time for players to get used to, but it brings with it a new level of meta in online gaming. You will now be able to think defensively in games and give your team's objectives reason to hold on to them. With the new scarcity mechanics, you may actually find it tactically advantageous to return to a friendly point more often and visit the resupply station that you can create. Along with these stations, the defensive positions that your team has created should help prevent the ring around the rosy effect that we have seen so often in Battlefield 1. To build these fortifications, all you will need to do is find something that is fortifiable such as a broken building or a stationary, and then a pop-up will appear on your screen. While building your fortifications, you will be able to stop and look around to observe your environment at any time. Not many other details were really given about the system, and to truly get a feel for how it's going to work in-game, we're going to have to wait two weeks for EA Play. Here we will get our first hands on the multiplayer for Battlefield 5, and you had better believe that I'm going to be putting sandbags and hedgehogs everywhere I can. All of the changes to the franchise coming in Battlefield 5 are due to DICE's focus and intent to make Battlefield 5 the most immersive experience possible. The way you interact with your team and your environment has been completely overhauled including new animations, requiring input from the player to accomplish different tasks, and your environment actually reacting to you. Animations will be a key driving force behind the new immersion changes. Every action where you interact with another player or your environment will have some intrinsic animation associated with it. Instead of a med pouch or an ammo pouch being absorbed into your body, you will now actually turn and catch it from the medic as seen in the trailer. The act of reviving someone is no longer just sticking someone with a needle. Now you will actually get down face to face as you bring them back into the fight. Having that face to face engagement will also make things a little bit more immersive by allowing you to see their customizations and they will also be able to see yours. No longer will each soldier just be another number on the battlefield. But it's not just other players that you will be interacting dynamically with. You will be reacting to your environment and vice versa. Tall grass is going to be pushed down and away when you're moving through a field. Running through water now makes you run with high steps, or your character might actually stumble when sprinting over loose rocks and the list just goes on and on. Battlefield 5 is going to have you interacting with your teammates and environment as well. Med crates must now be interacted with, and your player will actually go over and take out supplies from the box. When you are killed, you are actually knocked down to the ground and you start bleeding out. Here, you can call for help and grab the attention of a nearby squad mate for a buddy revive or a medic for a full-on revive. The option is also there to just give up and let yourself bleed out. Additionally, traditional 3D spotting mechanics are being completely overhauled. And while DICE design director Daniel Berlin couldn't give specifics, he made a point to focus that spamming the spot button to see all the enemies in front of you is no longer an option. 
All of these changes are allowing DICE to build a world that is believable. You will need to pay attention to your surroundings to stay alive and make decisions on the fly that will affect how you approach different situations. You are now going to be forced to make tactical decisions on the fly. If you are en route to an enemy point and you become engaged by an enemy squad, you wipe them all out, your team is victorious, your medic heals you up. But since your squad does not have a support, you must now make the decision. Do you try to loot ammo off the bodies and gather what little you can? Do you return to your friendly point and hit up a resupply station? Or do you continue pushing on to the enemy point despite being low on ammo? These are the decisions that will definitely increase the skill ceiling in the game and really develop a whole new level of tactics and meta. I'm truly amazed at just how ambitious Battlefield 5 is turning out to be, and I honestly cannot wait to get hands on gameplay in just two weeks. That covers most of the details that I have regarding fortification and the immersion elements. To see some of my other deep dive videos into the different aspects of Battlefield 5, check out the description for links to my previous videos. Next episode we'll be taking a closer look into the changes for the squad mechanics and the different classes in Battlefield 5. For more Battlefield 5 content, consider subscribing. I will be uploading news, gameplay, and more soon. My name is Shadox Films and I hope to see you on the battlefield.